Research has indicated that red supergiant stars like Betelgeuse undergo noticeable changes in their last months before the occurrence of a supernova. These changes offer astronomers a heads up to witness a supernova in action, rather than merely studying its aftermath. From their recent findings, it's safe to conclude that Betelgeuse isn't going to blow up anytime soon. However, astronomers now claim they can give us a few weeks' notice. Today, NASA's terrifying warnings about the Betelgeuse explosion are so shocking that it left our jaws dropping. Will the Earth and the human race be safe after this occurrence? You are about to find out, so stay tuned until the end. Betelgeuse, commonly known as Alpha Orionis, is one of the brightest stars in Orion and can be seen on the hunter's eastern shoulder. Betelgeuse stands out to even the untrained eye because of its striking red color and prominent location in Orion's constellation. Nearly 7.5 light-years in diameter characterize the biggest of these spheres. An estimate puts the star's distance at 548 light-years. Red supergiant star Betelgeuse has a diameter of around 764 times that of the Sun. Mars's orbital diameter around the Sun is 328 times that of the Sun. There is a slight variation in its apparent magnitude, although it is typically about 0.6. Fortunately, it has been fading since late 2019. Early in 2022, it brightened to a magnitude of 1.6. By the end of the year, it had reverted to its previous level of brilliance. It has been determined from infrared satellite observations that Betelgeuse is encircled by enormous shells of material that were apparently shed by the star during periods of mass loss during the last 100,000 years. The great dimming occurred because of a massive outpouring of gas that eventually turned to dust when cooled. Astrophysicist Benjamin Davies and his colleagues at Liverpool John Moores University believe that a supernova is likely to occur if a red supergiant star, roughly 10 to 40 times more massive than our sun, suddenly dims and becomes a deeper red. The team used images of the aftermath of hundreds of red supergiant supernovae in surrounding galaxies to recreate the mechanisms that create pre-mortem dimmings. It follows from their findings that the star's visible brightness should decrease by a factor of 100 in the weeks or months before a supernova. They discovered that in its last months, the star envelops itself in a thick cocoon of gas, mostly hydrogen, mixed with other elements which causes its light to fade and become red. As the star burns up, its remaining nuclear fuel, the theory goes, it releases the gas from its surface in a succession of tiny explosions. Let's put it this way, red supergiant stars begin to balloon and develop expanding envelopes of gas and dust when their nuclear fuel runs towards the conclusion of their lifetimes. Moreover, the expansion of this envelope correlates with a greater degree of luminosity for the star. However, there are other reasons a star like Betelgeuse may dull and brighten. Red supergiant stars, like our own sun, have massive connective cells on their surface, where internal turbulence drives hot material to the surface. Once it reaches the surface, some of the material explodes forcefully into space like a gigantic radioactive belch, briefly altering the object's brightness. This is a clear warning that an eruption is imminent among the stars. Now here's the thing. A star's core consumes neon, oxygen, and finally silicon in its last year or two of life. The core shrinks as it uses up its supply of each element, a form of partial collapse that is halted when the next element is ignited. When stars undergo these late-stage burning transitions, shock waves like those produced by many supernovae, explosions go through the air. They don't blow the star up, instead they pull material off the surface. The expanding cloud of hot gas and radiation left behind after a star explodes may provide scientists insight into the star and its surroundings just before the explosion. According to Davies and his co-workers, the supernova radiation itself may provide us insights about what the star looked like at the instant the core collapsed. They saw the brightness and dimness of light following thousands of red supergiant supernovae reveal that the dying stars had been surrounded by a thick cloud of material. Early observations of the supernova left by telescopes revealed weak lines of light emanating from the debris clouds as the blast wave went through it. While several red supergiant stars have been photographed in the years leading up to their flaming, catastrophic deaths, no one had ever observed one in this condition. That in turn implied that the transition 
could only take place a few years before the star's demise, but rather only months or even weeks. This led Davies and his team to create computer simulations, exploring various scenarios in which the debris clouds may collect around the star, and featured an extremely powerful stellar wind lifting material off the star's surface. The ones that Davies details for inverse are significantly quicker and more spectacular. They examine the simulation's results to determine which generated a supernova most similar to the real-world ones that had already been researched. Their dramatic dimming was found to occur almost exclusively in the last weeks or months of a star's existence, when it jolts through its terminal phase and shoots material into space. When they die, massive stars go out instantly, yet even the hottest, brightest, longest living stars burn for millions of years. Since it is impossible to miss something so brilliant, Astronomers usually detect the flaming remains of a supernova within a few days. However, the instant the explosion occurs is so brief, it is easy to miss. However, suppose astronomers know the indicators of an approaching supernova. In that case, they may keep an eye on the right stars and see a celestial apocalypse firsthand. Although Betelgeuse is not expected to go supernova anytime soon, despite its unusual behavior during the last several years, Betelgeuse is an ejecting material on the scale that we observe for stars in the final year of their existence, adds Davies. Betelgeuse isn't the typical color of a red supergiant, but we know that stars about to explode are far redder than their neighbors. His statement leaves us wondering, what will Betelgeuse look like when it is about to explode? Well, it is believed that the star may produce a small flash when the material is expelled, but will grow a hundred times fainter over the following months as the debris swiftly cools and enshrouds the star. Humanity must avoid anxiety by not fretting about the celestial explosion. This is because more often than not, a supernova would have to occur within a few hundred light years of Earth for the radiation to be harmful to life on Earth. As we mentioned earlier, recent observations put Betelgeuse at a distance of 724 light years far outside the danger zone. The explosion could have unexpected consequences for Earth, it is also evident that astronomical observations to study Betelgeuse would have unique challenges. The light would be too intense for their equipment to handle. In contrast, they would need to adjust the light gathering capabilities of their telescopes to see much less. And scientists think there will be plenty of warning if Betelgeuse defies the odds and explodes in our lifetimes. As much as a day before the explosion, Earth-based instruments would begin picking up gravitational waves or neutrinos produced by the blast. When it happens, the sky would be illuminated by a star nine times dimmer than the full moon, yet still brilliant enough to see for more than three months. The supernova would appear as a very bright star and would be seen during the day and cast shadows at night. It would catch the attention of everyone on Earth. People will surely be interested in this one, which would be impossible to ignore. From Earth, the supernova would be visible throughout the day for around a year. Even after the supernova remnants fade, it would still be visible to the human eye at night for nine years. When Betelgeuse totally disappears, Orion will be without its left shoulder. At the same time, losing the brightest star in the Orion constellation will be sad. Are you looking forward to the Betelgeuse supernova like we are? If so, I'm sure you would like this next video on here. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more space videos.